hello guys welcome once more to the channel today we are going to be looking at quick shots which uh, is uh, the shooting modes that you have in uh, the mavic air 2 and uh, for this video we will be doing the circle so first i just to be to give you guys the heads up you cannot uh, do the quick shots if the aircraft the is not in flight Please so check we'll it start on the by map. taking off and then uh, from there we will select the object that we want to circle and then we will hit uh, the start button which will be on your right uh, where you have the red button right now and then the whole process will take place automatically take off so we the lift off has been first updated. Please check it on and the map. Uh, get to a comfortable height So there you have the quick shots. You can select, you know, you have uh, the drone, the rocket, the circle, the helix, boomerang, and the asteroid. So in this example, I will try to do a circle around the old elevator that you see in front on your screen. Uh, we go a bit higher to a comfortable height that way we don't encounter any obstacles then you draw a box around the object that you want to circle and uh, the software in the mavic air 2 is quite intelligent you could actually like you see the green uh, spot on the left if i touch that dot then it will automatically select the whole of that building so it recognizes objects like that so now we have uh, we are at a comfortable altitude Pull back some more so that we can have a good view of the surrounding area and there we have our target three two one and uh, you could also select in which direction the drone circles the object that you selected you could do either clockwise or counterclockwise in this example, we are going clockwise. And the Mavic Air 2 is great in that uh, these automated uh, shot modes, you basically don't do anything. So once you have uh, the object selected and in the green box, you hit the start and then the whole, the rest of the process is automated. The drone flies itself and comes back to the starting point and then uh, everything that was recorded during the flight uh, is made into a shot clip. So there we're still circling. almost done and the process is complete so another thing that happens is while uh, the while doing the quick shot if you look where you have the start button, it shows the progress uh, from 1% until you have 100%. So you can determine how far into the shot uh, or the filming or the sequence you've gone. So we, here we have this nice uh, view of the train going by. You can see when you manually control the gimbal, it's kind of uh, shaky. I think I have my sensitivity all the way up, so it's not very smooth. But that was a bonus. 
to have the train come by just when we were doing the shot. That's just a view of the general area. So we return, get back closer. That's a pretty long train. Still going. And I can't say enough good things about the strong um, signals that are sent from uh, the drone. So the connection between the drone and the controller uh, is very good. You actually feel much more confident flying the Mavic Air 2 compared to my other drone, which is uh, the DJI Spark. The Spark was very prone to flying away. So this is a huge, huge improvement. Sorry about that. I had to let my helper out there. He was making a lot of noise in the background. So I repeat the same shot here with uh, on the vehicle. And this is the raw footage from the drone itself, not um, a screenshot of my uh, of my of my uh, phone so that's about the circle and thanks for watching this video hopefully uh, you try it sometime but make sure you have an open space without obstacles thanks for watching